Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and in this week's episode I am once again uh, transforming a pre-bonsai into something really cool that's going to be auctioned off at the end of the video so make sure you stick around. So let's dive right in. Uh, this is a, a Green Mount Ficus which is the pre-bonsai that I chose that I'm going to style today. Now this pre-bonsai is the exact same uh, species as this one and this is a, a green mount ficus, which has a pointy leaf and is not the green island. So the green island ficus is the one that has more of a rounded leaf. It looks exactly the same, but instead of the leaf being pointy, it's more rounded, right? Now the green mount, which is what this one is, um, I pretty much turned this into that when it was about this size. So it has a statue on the inside, which I call this tree Angkor. And this tree has been displayed um, in Disney World in Orlando. It has been in a couple of shows. Um, and I started this tree, I want to say about five, six years ago, when I added this tree on top of the statue. So they grow fairly rapidly. So Green Mount Ficus are extremely cool trees because they are very, very hardy. They're very tough. They're extremely difficult to kill, which makes this an exceptionally well uh, beginner tree, right? Great material to do root over rock, root over statue, um, as you can see. Just a great, great species, very, very hardy. Um, it also does really well on the inside, if you were to grow it inside. And this is probably also the most cold tolerant ficus species, at least that I'm aware of. This one is much more tolerant than like a, a willow leaf ficus or anything like that. So this is a great, great, great species. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and defoliate the tree so that we can see the structure of the tree. So we can see what we actually have here to work with. Um, cool thing that I didn't mention, this tree has aerial roots that it grows down from the branches so you can make it look like a big banyan tree. Also it grows little, uh, they look like berries. They come out green and then they turn red and then they turn yellow and fall off. So you can have your entire tree covered in those uh, so-called berries. So a very cool feature. So as I said, the first step I'm gonna do is defoliate the tree, find my front, and then come up with an idea of what I'm gonna do next. All right, so this species is extremely easy to defoliate. Um, I just like to hold the tip of the branch with one hand and then use my other hand and just pull the branches gently back and they snap right off. So now on the tip on the very tip where there's a new growth you see how i bend it and it st still doesn't pop off here i want to use my scissors here we go if i were to keep bending it i would probably snap off and break the front of the branch so i don't want to do that so the back comes off fairly fairly easy and since this is already hardened off it comes off very easy but like for instance this one that has a lot of new growth. Um, let's see. Yeah, it comes off. Yeah, see that doesn't come off, right? I bent it all the way back here and it's still not popping off. So these two, I'm just gonna take my scissors and just cut them off like this, not a big deal. As I have been defoliating this tree, I um, I saw that this tree has a lot of potential to be a really, really cool tree. Um, so first of all, it has a great root spread, right? And then second of all, it has some cool aerial roots here on the side that I would like to incorporate. Um, yeah, I think this is it, my front. Okay, so I marked this to be my front here. So look at this as your target. And the reason why I chose this, yes, perfect. All right, so the reason why I chose this to be as the front is because on this side, you have a great root spread. You can still appreciate the uh, aerial roots here on the side. And it's not really in your face. It's more in the back a little bit, which adds depth to it. And then on this side, the tree also have 
has a lot better taper and movement. Yeah, I like that a lot. So on this side, the tree leans a little bit to the, to the side and then comes back up this way. So we can adjust this and fix it fairly, fairly easily. Um, so I'm gonna go with this as the front. So now I just have to go ahead and eliminate the branches that I don't want to keep and why are the branches that I do want to keep. So let's dive right in. I brought the apex over as you can see because it was over here now it's more right above the uh, entire tree and in my like I, I really like the structure of this tree it's a really great tree and I think all you need to do is just grow out the bottom branches more so that we can make the tree wider and taller but other than that I mean everything is here all the branches are here uh, which usually doesn't happen on the first styling that all the good branches are in place because usually you have to graft them on later or stuff like that so this is actually really good that you already have all the branch structure here um, I would say the bottom branches will probably come out to about here the front to about here and then just have this canopy right here and I think that's gonna look really cool um, in so in about two weeks time the entire tree is going to be covered in leaves that's how fast they come back and that's how fast they grow extremely fast grower i would probably say one of the fastest growing ficus species there is and as you can see it has been trained as a bonsai from the beginning because it has all the branches a thick trunk nice root spread we got some aerial roots um so when you receive this tree if you're lucky enough to win this tree i would recommend that you repot this tree and i would probably put it into something shallow and maybe oval would be nice and a fairly large pot so that we can have a large canopy and so also that you can uh, have the uh, roots spread a little more on the root surface once you start digging though I'm pretty sure that you will find a good amount of roots in there that you could even turn this into a root over rock or root over statue all right so it's been a few weeks and I wanted to show you guys the uh, update on this um, green mound ficus so as you can see it's coming back really strong and the leaves are really small so it's, and it's really strong growing and it looks just really healthy um, within no time it's going to be filled out completely and you're going to have a really nice canopy so now let me tell you guys how you can actually acquire this very tree um, right now on our website for the next three days we're going to have a live auction where you can place your bids on this beautiful tree and if you happen to win the uh, auction, we'll ship this guy right to your home. So I wish you guys good luck with the auction. And make sure that you subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys next time.